Ventilation is one of the most important features of any livestock shed and will ensure efficient production as well as minimising health problems. This month, I'm focusing on the importance of ventilation for beef cattle and the positive impacts it can have. For many farms, the luxury of having new purpose-built sheds is limited and often livestock are housed in pre-existing buildings. This often compromises natural airflow and ventilation, resulting in less air exchanges taking place, creating an environment where pathogens can thrive. This increases disease rate, in particular respiratory diseases like pneumonia, which is one of the most significant disease problems within beef herds. Pathogens in poorly ventilated sheds can survive for longer periods, and when they are not cleared from the building can provide a significant reservoir of infection in the air. Galebreaker did an infographic whereby we compared our standard M75 mesh against space boarding, Yorkshire boarding and vented metal. Overall, the M75 came out with the best ventilation rate and the most value for money. I am here today at a finishing beef unit in Gloucestershire. Here, they have wieners all the way through to finishers. Mr Andrews was struggling with airflow in some of his finishing sheds, where natural ventilation was limited due to other farm buildings. Back in 2021, Galebreaker installed a vent tube cool into one of the worst buildings with the idea to bring fresh, clean air into the building where natural airflow is limited. The vent tube cool is a similar design to our vent tube fresh. However, instead of delivering air at a low air speed, the cool aspect jets air, giving a chill effect. However, in this application, it is used to bring a large amount of fresh air into the building, achieving around 50 air exchanges per hour, compared with the fresh, which would do four to eight. Therefore, it is more suited to older animals, producing more heat. We use smoke tests to assess the air movement within the shed with the tube on and off. This allows for a visual representation of the air movement within the shed. One of the major effects of the vent tube cool on Mr Andrew's farm is the saving on straw. The straw use in this shed has halved since the tube was installed as it acts as a drying effect. Here, they do a large bale of straw per 100 cows every day. This shed holds 200 cows. So since the tube has been installed, the straw use within this shed has gone from two bales to one. If the bales were £30 each, that would mean over a finishing period of 180 days, the straw cost would be £10,800. With the tube, it halves to £5,400. Secondly, Dr Mufasa Salawu, lead nutritionist at Ruminant Management Limited, did a predicted difference with the same mix projected, with an average pen condition compared with a good pen condition and found that cattle are projected to gain an average of 90 grams per day extra when their environment is improved. This is because when ventilation is improved, it will increase the comfort and welfare of the stock, consequently translating to improved performance.